going to show you how to update the databases on a G1000. First step, unlock the hanger. Access granted. So we're going to Once you have access to your airplane, you simply unlock the airplane using the Cessna certified FAA approved key. Open the door and locate the cards. In this G1000, you have a PFD card, which looks like this, and you'll probably want to label it if you've never updated the cards before, and that one has a P on it. This one actually stays in the airplane. We don't need to take it out. What we do need to take out is the bottom card of the MFD, which will be labeled M. And we'll also need to take out the card that happens to be in the top slot of this airplane. Um, most people can remove this. It does not need to be in flight. It's uh, in the system in flight. It's just a Lexar 8 gigabyte flash drive, but it could be any brand uh, to Universal. And we want to take these two cards with us. Now that we've now that we've used the computer to update the cards, we're now going to install the cards back into the airplane. First, you're going to want to uh, get some power, ground power on the airplane, because it may take a little while. Christopher's plugging in the ground power for us, so the ground power's in. Now we're going to turn the on this airplane standby battery, main battery, and avionics. For the navigation database, you're going to need to click yes. Now that we've done that, hit the enter key to continue, and then you'll also want to update the active database. And now we've finished that, press the new key to continue. As I was saying earlier, you only have to update the MFD card, not the PFD card. The data will now transfer to the other card through the G1000 system. You can see that at system status, and where it says sync status status, you can see it update to the PFD1 card. So you want to leave the system on until that is transferred. The updates are now complete, you can power off the system. You will have to update the active database for the nav data by moving the card from the right hand side to the left hand side and powering the system back up. This process is just like the MFD, we've updated it to active and standby. And you can now power off the system and move the navigation card back to the MFD side. And that's it.